interrupting my fun there. Oh well, I suppose it was kind of important, you know. Naomi's always seemed a little bit suspicious, so... Hmm. Can I shoot more ravens now? Shoot them, snake. Come on. They're not that hard to hit. I'm wasting quite a bit of ammo, though. Are they going to land at all? Make it easy for me? This place looks a bit cold as well, doesn't it? Jeez. Why can't I hit any of them? They're not that fast. Oh, we got one. We got one. Mayday, mayday. Let's get, let's get more of them. Come on. I mean, I, I don't condone animal abuse. But virtual animals are a different story. Fair game. That's another one down. Let's shoot some more. I'm surprised I haven't had a codec call saying, Snake, what are you doing, man? That's not nice, man. You know, like they did with the rats. Maybe shooting rats is nasty, but shooting, you know, ravens is, is okay. I'm really running out of ammo here, guys. But I, I must kill, must kill ravens. Let's screw this. Actually, no, no, I might be able to get some more. Come on. There's tons of them there, Snake. You can't miss. You cannot miss. It's impossible. Oh, screw you. Fine. Okay, let me just see what people are going to say about this place. Otacon. What the hell are all these crows doing around here? Crows? You got me. There were crows around from before. But for some reason, they started to really increase in number around the same time that Foxhound came to the base. I wonder why. It's really weird. I wonder what it could mean. Oh, I couldn't possibly guess. Isn't there a certain member of Foxhound that uh, likes these blackbirds? Uh, Master, got anything new to report? I want to ask you about Naomi. I'm looking into the details now, but it doesn't look good. Weren't you ever suspicious about her, Snake? I was. Snake, keep your guard up. She seemed to uh, have a few, a few things hiding, you know, secrets, and she's uh, acted a little bit strange around me every now and then. Nikita missiles. Oh, he's in over this side. Ah, C4. Okay, so we've been given a lot of explosive stuff there. Let me just check my ammo. So we got 12 stingers, claymores. All right, good, 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 good. Right, keeping the body armor on. I think um, four rations. Okay, I need to open this door though. I need to open this door. Yep, he's back. Welcome, Cossack. This is the end of the road for you. Right, my friends? Listen, they agree. How dare you kill my friends? <laughs> Ravens aren't scavengers like Sorry. most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world. That which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> but that was no true battle. The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? <laughs> Can't move. The raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. 
Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. <laughs> you jest. But indeed, ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska, too. You know of the World Eskimo Indian Olympics? Yeah, I know it. it must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there is iron in your words. Oh, and so begins my personal sort of most feared boss fight ever. Well, not boss fight ever, but you know what I mean, in MGS. This thing scares me because he's constantly chasing you with that huge freaking minigun that he's... he's wow, that's a huge gun. I mean, first a tank and now this. It's it's not fun. Um, and he will actually chase you and just try and destroy all these uh, containers that are acting as cover. So you got to be careful. Uh, there's quite a few ways you can go about this fight. I usually use the stinger. But you have to try and hit him when he's not facing you. Otherwise, he'll just shoot down whatever's being fired at him. Um, you can use claymores. That's also quite a fun way to do it. Well, it's C4, which is difficult. And um, ooh, we hit him. Nice. And also the Nikita. But that's... I just... I don't like that. Because you lose track of where a snake actually is. Um... Where is he? It just really I, it scares me this fight. It always has. At least with a stinger missile, you always know kind of where he is. There we go. A couple of good hits on him there. Right. More stinger missiles. That's what we need. Another hit on him. And then we'll have a chat with people on the codec. Just to calm me down. Because my oh god he's seen me. That's not good. Because as his health actually go, gets lower... Ooh, nice one, Snake. He, uh, he starts running around and getting quicker, and... Whoa, it just scares the crap out of him. You do not want to get caught in uh, in front of that minigun. It is a dangerous thing. Ooh, he's, he's destroying these... Uh, I mean, you can see all the bullet holes on them. He is... Incredibly, incredibly dangerous. Yes, right. So let's have a quick chat with people. What are they going to say? Going to give me any tips? The Vulcan Raven is half Native Alaskan American and half Inuit. He was raised as a shaman, and they say he has supernatural powers. During the Cold War, he trained in Russia with the Bimple, the Soviet Special Forces. Bimple. In 1993, he was demoted by President Yeltsin following his coup d'état. So he fled the country and became a mercenary. After that, he joined those rentable bastards at Outer Heaven, Inc. He stayed there until he joined us in Foxhound, thanks to a strong recommendation from Revolver Ocelot. Oh. That cannon he's holding is a 20 millimeter Vulcan gun. You usually see them mounted on fighter planes. Shit! You can't take him on in a firefight. He'll make mincemeat of you. He's not just strong, Snake. He's a graduate emeritus from Alaska University, so he's a quick thinker, too. What's he hell? In any case, you better not try to attack him from the front. Normal weapons are no match for his 20mm Vulcan. Try to attack him from the sides or behind. There you go. And sorry if you can hear my dogs downstairs. They're going ape shit because someone's, you know, someone's arrived. But yeah, Vulcan Raven now is actually using a Vulcan gun. How appropriate. Got that ration. Right. Where are you? I'm going to try and avoid getting cornered as well, because it's obviously bad. But we're doing alright here. We are really... I'm impressed. Now... That's it. And keep... Oh, is he going to change direction? I hate it when he changes direction. No, he's, he's mine. Yes! Snake, my man! Right. Oh, shit. 
really don't want him getting too close to me here. Oh, that was a, that was a decent hit. Well, I say it was probably more lucky than anything. It didn't really do too much damage. That didn't do anything because it didn't even lock on. He is really shifting now. For such a big guy, he's pretty fast. Oh, shit. Oh, no. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, I missed him. I really don't want him to catch us. Can I even see him? Where are you going? Uh -huh. Oh, he's getting way too close for comfort here. Oh, he's going away. He's going away. Good. You're mine. One more hit, Snake, and we've got the bastard. Oh, shit. Which way is he going to run? Okay. He's really panicking now. You see the rations on top of these uh, containers? You can only get them, I think, if you, uh, if you shoot him. Shit. We've got him! Wow, that was a good fight. Just as the boss said, it is my existence which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you, understand? Snake. Take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes. What is it? The DARPA chief. That was not the DARPA chief. Hey? Who was it then? Decoy Octopus. Oh. A member of Foxhound. Of course. Yeah. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. Damn, that's dedication. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Snake, in the natural world, there's no such thing as boundless slaughter. There is always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no peace. Hear me, Snake. My spirit will be watching you. Damn, they ate him. That is... Great. I mean, he was big as well. That was one hefty meal for him. Snake, it's me. Master. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. That's lucky. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. 
Yeah. Go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. Say what? what? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then, who is she really? She must be some kind of... spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. Hey? I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. You tell him, Snake. God damn, what is it, Colonel? Your secrets, man. And, uh, Naomi. Wow, so that isn't actually her real name. That is... Oh, so much to take in. This is where the plot really starts to kick into high gear. And, uh... Yeah, I, sorry for laughing back at the beginning of that Raven fight. Um, when he says, um, killing his friends or something. That's because I shot the Ravens. And, um... I usually forget to do that. That's why I wanted to kill him. That's why I wasted all that ammo. Uh... Basically just trying to make sure I saw that scene and wow. Yeah. He was a pretty powerful dude to be able to carry that thing around. And run around at the speed he did with it as well. Kinda like Bane, I suppose, maybe. He was huge, man. Anyway. So Naomi is uh, is gonna be investigated by the Colonel, who uh now knows about it. Now we have the level seven Ooh look. Ooh! Our rations are frozen. Melt it before you eat. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot about that. So we can't actually use our rations when they're frozen. But if you keep them equipped, which basically means, you know, you, you've got them out and I suppose they're close to your body. You, you, your own body heat should be able to uh, defrost them. Um, although I'm not sure if that will work in this area. Maybe I need to leave it. Might be because it's still too cold, but... We got the level 7 card, so that door back in the snowfield, we could actually go all the way back there and see what's inside, but I, I don't actually know what if it's going to be worth it, but um, we might end up going back. We'll see. Anyway, that was a great boss fight. Didn't, did I take any hits again? I don't know. I seem to, be, seem to be doing okay in these later boss fights, or at least the Sniper Wolf one and, and that one. 